welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't done a video in a long time. I'm really sorry. I'm not very good at these things, but my mission is to do a lot more of them and to keep them short and snappy because I don't do things that are short and snappy. I'm like the longest talker and here I go again. Okay. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about low estrogen. So a lot of women suffer from high estrogen or estrogen dominance from like environmental factors, stress, life, things they eat, diet, exercise, all that sort of stuff. But some women also suffer from low estrogen, me included, and quite a few of my clients. Some signs of low estrogen is things like low libido, not having much energy, being really tired all the time, those sort of things, okay? so. Around ovulation, your estrogen levels peak, and that's what makes you have such a high sex drive around ovulation, which makes sense because around ovulation is when you're your most fertile, and so according to, like, to obviously our brain is like, cool, you're most fertile, so you should be having lots of sex so then you can fall pregnant because we are like literally programmed to be baby machines. There is this dog barking in the background, and it's driving me insane. It's been doing it all day, so I'm really sorry if you can hear it, but hopefully I'll talk loud enough that you can't. So, low estrogen. I'm going to give you my top three tips to, to help boost your estrogen levels so they balance out. Obviously, you don't want too much estrogen, but you don't want too little estrogen. Okay, so the first thing is to be taking some maca powder. You can take this in capsule forms, but I quite like the taste of it. It's kind of like caramelly, and you can buy it in like health food stores online. Um, and you can put this in turmeric lattes, you can cook with it, put it in hot chocolates that you make at home, like of course healthy sugar-free coconut milk raw hot chocolates, um, which I have recipes for on my website and on my Instagram page. Um, so maca powder has been shown to help boost estrogen levels and even to level out estrogen levels. So even if you have high estrogen, you can also take some maca powder. So that is really, really my top one and it tastes really great and it also helps with increasing libido. So I would go for your life with a maca powder. The second thing is to be taking a herb called Vitex. Vitex um, is this amazing herb. It's been around for thousands of years and it's fantastic for any PMS related things, any period problems, um, and of course, balancing out your healthy estrogen levels. So you can just buy this at like Chemist Warehouse or whatever. You want to be taking a thousand milligrams a day, which is usually one capsule, but depending on the brand you get, sometimes it's two capsules. That is also fantastic for your cycle and for boosting up healthy estrogen levels. Then the third thing, and this might seem counterintuitive because you have a low libido, but the third thing is having lots of sex. So, studies have actually shown in premenopausal women that have low estrogen levels, because you get low estrogen as you go into menopause for most women, um, studies have shown that having orgasms helps to increase estradiol and estradiol is the healthy estrogen that we want um, to be having it's the estrogen that's released your, from your ovaries so studies have actually shown that orgasms are like awesome which we obviously already knew that anyway um, and they really help balance out your hormone levels and are really really good for cycles for getting rid of PMS symptoms um, for everything like that okay for reducing stress all that sort of stuff so having orgasms is the way to go and I know it's counterintuitive but it's kind of like rip off the band-aid just go for your life and it's sort of like um, getting back on a bike or like no, not getting back on the bike. Like, you just gotta get back on the horse sometimes. If you've been off it for a while, you just gotta get back on there. Remember what you're missing out on. It's like when you read a good book and then you put it down for a week and then you can't, you have no motivation to pick it up again. But once you pick it up again, you get back into the rhythm of things. It's kind of like that. So you just need to find your mojo again, get back into it, and, it can, and that can really help boost up low estrogen. And having sex and having orgasms increases your libido okay so to rip off the band-aid go for it and then you should notice the difference with your libido which will help with your estrogen and everything so they are my top three things and then of course there's like the normal one to reduce stress stress is also not good for estrogen it's not good for low estrogen it's not good for high estrogen it just takes your body out of balance basically um so reducing stress wherever you can i'm not saying you have to quit your job i'm just saying wherever you can throughout your day do some stress reduction whether it's eating mindfully whether it's going to i'm um, reading in bed for five minutes before you go to sleep um having a bath whatever you like doing for yourself dancing around the house for five minutes that's also a great one for low estrogen. So they are my top three things for low estrogen. 
if you have questions or if you want to help figure out your cycle more, help reduce PMS, get your hormones back on track, get your period back, anything like that, I would love to help you. I do one-on-one -on -one strategy sessions, so you can come and see me for 60 minutes and we chat about your period. I give you tons of advice, tons of things you can do so you can go away and start implementing them. Kind of think of it like a doctor's appointment, but I have a passion for periods and actually understand periods. Um, unfortunately, doctors aren't taught the stuff that I have researched and learnt. Um, so, and studies have been done on that too. <laughs> anyway, um, so if you would like to do a strategy session with me, I would love to hear from you because I love helping women understand their periods. It's my biggest joy in life. I just love talking about periods. And then don't forget to also download my free eBooks and things like that on my website. You can go to my website, all the links are below and download that so that you can start to understand, understand your period and work with your cycle as opposed to against your cycle. I know I used to hate my period and hate being a woman and hate my cycle and now I absolutely adore it. So check out those things below and I hope these top three tips for low estrogen helped you a little bit. And of course, I love to hear from you guys. So let me know how you went. Um, cool, make sure you subscribe and have a good day.